This is a uh, demonstration of uh, a connection between the Heathkit Hero Junior robot, shown here, and a Raspberry Pi via the serial port of the uh, Hero Junior. The point of this is to add uh, capabilities to the Hero Junior without actually making any internal modifications and using only the uh, accessible serial port and uh, some programming in BASIC. So uh, this Hero Junior is fully functional and is connected to a uh, Raspberry Pi via a uh, serial connection right here. This is the power plug. Um, it has a uh, multi-cart um, from Robytes, uh, which includes uh, the Hero Basic, and currently it is running a very short uh, basic program um, in memory. Actually, it's it's not running; it's it's resident in memory currently. Um, the serial cable, which we see over here, coming from the back of the robot is connected all the way to um, this Raspberry Pi uh, Model B um, via a uh, serial um, to GPIO converter. It's essentially a level shifter for the uh, RS-232 signals. Now I should note that not all um, of these converters on the market work with the uh, Hero Junior. Um, I was trying to use uh, previously something like this and this one did not work well. It required a uh, null modem adapter to connect to the Junior and even then uh, there were some uh, inconsistent signal processing with this. So you may have to experiment um, with a uh, couple of these uh, to find which one works for you. The one I have here um, seems to work quite well and really connects straight to the Junior via a uh, serial cable without any non-modem adapter. What I'm trying to do here is um, a uh, experimental and proof of concept um, computer vision for the Hero Junior. Um, I have the uh, Pi camera over here um, on a stand connected to the Raspberry Pi and it is pointing at a yellow blob which is seen right here. Um, and I'm going to attempt to have the Hero Junior uh, recognize that ball, obviously not through its own processing power, but via um, the processing done on the Raspberry Pi and then communicated to the Hero Junior via simple commands. So the way this works is simply um, the Raspberry Pi processes the image via the OpenCV framework available on Linux. And then once an image is recognized or is not recognized, it transmits a code, a numeric code, essentially a one or a two, um, to the Raspberry Pi, uh, to the uh, Hero Junior, um, who through its uh, very simple basic program um, will uh, speak a phrase uh, stating that it has seen the ball or it has not seen the ball depending on which numeric code it receives. And then the process uh, repeats again. Here's the uh, monitor connected to the Raspberry Pi. The top window uh, will run the Python program which will initiate the OpenCV framework, capture the image and analyze it and then connect to the uh, uh, Hero Junior. The bottom window is actually a Minicom window which is a serial terminal and uh, that is essentially connected to the Hero Junior as well 
and uh, will show us uh, what's going on on the Hero Junior site simultaneously, which is pretty neat. So first off, let's look at uh, the program on the Hero Junior, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, list it. And as you can see, it's a very short program. Now the Hero Junior basic is a very, very limited basic with no such things as Boolean, for example, and very uh, simple control structures. So it's not, it's therefore uh, not very suited for um, complex programming, which is one of the reasons why I uh, wanted to uh, transform the Hero Junior into an intelligent peripheral uh, with the Raspberry Pi being uh, the master brains. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and run that program. It's hard to do with one finger. Alright, so now it is running. Nothing is happening, of course. It's basically waiting now for uh, an in initialization code, which is the code 88 from the Raspberry Pi. And when it does receive that, it will respond with code 99, indicating to the Raspberry Pi that, is, that it is ready to um, receive uh, further commands at that point. Moving on to the top window, we'll go ahead and uh, uh, run the Python program. Um, so bear with me here as I type with, oops, that's not, let me just switch windows here. Okay, so let's try that. The Python program is called Hero Command. All right, so now um, it's initializing the OpenCV framework. That takes a few seconds. And um, we'll wait for it. Okay, so it's ready. So what we're gonna do now is um, we're gonna basically have the uh, Raspberry Pi camera here um, try to identify that yellow blob, call it the ball. Um, and let the Hero Junior know that it identified it so that the Hero Junior can respond appropriately. So we'll go ahead and press a key. And we see that we got the code 99, which means that the Hero Junior recognized. I found the ball. And there you go, it found the ball. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and Take the ball away, oh, and um, go ahead and press a key again to let the Raspberry Pi try another capture. So again, 99 code from the uh, Hero Junior. I cannot see the ball. So it did not see the ball. So why don't we try and put the ball back again? Make it happy. This can be a little tricky. It's still very positional. All right. And let's go for it again. I found the ball. It found the ball. So here you go. Um, obviously a very crude um, proof of concept at this point. Um, eventually the Raspberry Pi um, and the camera will find their way on the internals of the uh, Hero Junior robot. Um, there's plenty of space inside to uh, fix these things. And probably uh, I'll drill a tiny hole, peephole, for the, uh, for the Raspberry Pi camera uh, so that you can see the, to the outside. And I need to refine the uh, object recognition so to make it, um, for example, um, a little bit broader. And with the ultimate objective of the Hero Junior being able to actually um, follow an object such as a ball, for example. 
Um, so that's basically uh, the uh, the project so far. Um, there's still a lot of work to be done, but it is certainly something feasible. Thank you.